Now you might find it hard to believe, like a man like me, Claymore, would have any stumble blocks. But that's exactly what E.G. Mackey's been for me the last twice at WrestleMania. A stumble block. No matter how much I slam him into the mat, drag him to the canvas, he just keeps weaseling out, snaking out the corner, getting away, escaping me, and beating me in some underhand attack tactic. You know, the last time, he locked me outside a fire exit and I got counted out. But tonight, I knew what I was dealing with. He can throw at me all the nonsense he wants to, but tonight I went out there, I was all business, there was no nonsense. He thought he'd gone away, but he kicked out of my super kick. But he went one step too far, he tried to be too fancy, he tried to show off too much. He jumped up to that top hole, he leapt on me, not thinking how's a little guy like that going to knock a guy like me off my feet. So I caught him and I popped him through the canvas, one, two, three. Another one for Claymore. E.G. Mackey, you might have got the better of me before. You might have been a stumbling block in my past. But not tonight. Tonight I was all business and I got the job done. Good evening, my brothers and sisters. And the very good Mr. Ewan G. Mackey. Have you noticed my boss, my brothers and sisters, this evening? I speak to you as a defeated man. I thought I had Claymore well scouted. I'd beaten him twice before. And tonight, even though the future division title was not at stake, I must stress, not at stake. I lost. I hadn't lowered my game. I hadn't the heart, perhaps, tonight. Whatever happened in my behind it was not the potent weapon I thought it was. But there are other things, my brothers. A loss is a loss. And the other thing is that Ewan is an individual who embraces life as he finds it. There was an individual who once taught him, L-I-T-S, life is too short. And we need not worry all the time, my brothers, because I have my sights set on something else. Martin Stallion, you see, he, he decided to send slander my way, my brothers. He stood there with his manager, who for once was silent. And it was also beautiful, my brothers, because we heard the, the sound of Mark Stallion's voice, which is interesting, because Mark Stallion talks as if he doesn't understand what the words he is saying mean. And that's fabulous, my brothers. And he calls me a clown. I am a z wrestler in a world of wrestling, but I am the most potent of vermin, Mark Stallion. And should I lose the Future Division Championship, I will not be less of a man. I still have my friends, my beautiful friends, my stallion himself. You see, Raymond Buffoon the third can manage a horse, so I'm going to have a horse manage me. And you see, I'll be upset if I leave Peterhead without my lovely Future Division Championship. But I would also be upset if I lost my hat, my goggles, and my magic heart. Mark Stallion. I do not intend to lose, and I don't go down lightly. But my brother, should you take that championship away from me, when I see fit, I will hunt you down, my brother. And I will take back what's rightfully mine. Because I don't want to be in charge of the future. If all eyes will turn to the very good Mr. Ewan G. Mackey, then just remember this one thing. The children may play with a football. You may hear voices elsewhere in this building. You may hear things that resonate in this staircase. But remember one thing that resonates in this staircase is the voice of the very good Mr. Ewan G. Mackey. And when he tells you to look to the future, if the future has my face in it, then we are all doomed. But my brothers, it's going to be so much fun. Yeah!